Ladies and gentlemen, coming straight to you from the land of wasted opportunities, it's Kevin the Skull Anderson with another episode right here on YouTube.com. This is Scully Goes Wild. How are you, man? Now then, you are not going to believe the shit that I have for you today. Yeah, that's what they say. Now, enter the case of a woman, or lack thereof, clearly supported Hillary Clinton in 2016 and Obama twice in 08 and 12 respectively, who gets into a car with an Uber driver and proceeds to pretty much poke the bear. Of course, you know what I'm talking about because you saw the video on your local news station several years ago, as well as the animated short by this guy named Zach, who has a YouTube channel, by the way, with over a million subscribers. Of course, let's talk about the woman who couldn't stop poking the bear, because every time she started to poke the bear, the bear would scream louder and louder. Yeah, man, let's get to it. It's a wide shot! Nothing! You need Hey, let's talk about the story of a woman named Jotchi80. That's J O T as in Jot, C E as in CeeLo Green, and the number 80. You know, woman, you're a real piece of shit. You know that? You make Hillary Clinton look like Jesus Christ in comparison. Now, this woman made the unfortunate decision to become a living meme with every breath that she takes from that point after by posting a video on July the 7th, 2016 about a quote, hostile Uber driver who refuses to take her to the ER. Well, you were at your destination, you knew where administration was, but you didn't give a shit about it. Why? Because you're selectively retarded, that's why! You are the reason why we have abortion clinics. You are the reason why Donald Trump is president and Hillary Clinton isn't. And don't tell me it's not because you suck the donkey's dick, because that's exactly what it is, because that's exactly what you do every day, you suck the donkey's dick. Yeah. Just a minute. You can't make this shit up. It's impossible. You cannot make this shit up. How is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I can't even. I can't, man. This is. Yeah, let, let's let's play that video in its entirety, huh? The whole three-minute fucking thing! Ah! Get in there! Get out of my car now! Where is Get out of my car now! Sir, I'm asking Get out of my car now! I have the right... To tell you when to get out of my car, I it's have, right now. I don't know where I am. I'm asking you, where is my destination? If you will kindly point. I know what your destination is. To your destination. It said here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said seven. Get out of my car 
now. Sir, it's set. Get out of my car now. Why are you yelling at me? Because you won't fucking get out of my car. Thank you. But you're not to yell at me. You are not to Nine, yell at me. One. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Get out of my car. Where is my destination? Get out of my car. Sir, can you just tell Get me? Get out of my goddamn car. Now. Sir, can you please tell me where my destination is? I don't Get can out you, of the car. Can you please tell me where my destination is? Now. The ride is over. You have been extremely rude, extremely condescending. How this whole have thing. I Thank you. Rude. You kept me waiting way too long. You showed up and told me you were in a hurry when you showed no actual effort to be in a hurry. Get out Ta-da! of my car. Thank you, Uber Driver. Get out of my car now. I don't know where I am. Get out of my car now. God damn you to hell. Sir. Get out of my car. I am asking Get out of my car. It is my fucking goddamn property. Exactly. It's his property. Just now. get out of the damn car. No! You are facing Get out right fucking now! You are facing Get out of my car! I'm facing a fucking moron! Get out! Now! You're facing a- Now! You have no right to scream at me? I will fucking talk to you any goddamn way I want. Really? Yes, I fucking will. And I have the right. And you didn't figure that out by now, woman? You at me? Get out of my car! You have the right to scream at me. I have asked you to leave my car multiple times. And I am asking car. you in a Get very out of my car. manner, where am I? You're at a hospital. Where, where? you need to be. Oh! Ha ha ha! Can you get her out of my car, please? Yeah, I'll get her out of your car for you. the emergency room? On the other side? Get out of my car! Exactly. You see, people? This is why we have abortion clinics. To prevent shitheads like her from having existed in the first goddamn place. And now you know why I keep getting messages on my computer from Uber. Because they won't stop asking me to work for them, knowing that I don't have a driver's license or a fucking car. The fuck did you expect? Honestly. You know, woman, you constantly badgering the man to take you to a destination that you already arrived at some three days or four days or however the hell long before, Do you realize how stupid you looked in that video? By the way, I hope to hell that you're watching this lady. Because when you watch this video, by the way, I'm going to be roasting your ass for the rest of this video. A good 21 more minutes or so. I forget how long. I don't keep track of the time anymore. But let me tell you something. Jotcha80, whoever the hell you are. You got 2 million views for a video that you scripted where you egged on a friendly Uber driver who completely lost his shit because you wouldn't fucking get out of his car! You cannot write this shit! Not even in hell! Which I believe is relocated to Hollywood as of now. And let's face it, people, Hollywood is hell. It is absolute hell. I'm telling you people to be completely straight up. I'm not going to lie about it. This woman is a real work. A facade. People should not be allowed There should be a law prohibiting people to exhibit these levels of stupidity. You understand? 
the punishment that they should receive for displaying such levels of stupidity is to get knocked the fuck out by the person that they're egging on by the bear that they're poking in this case the woman should have gotten similarly punished by someone around her specifically the driver who asked her countless times rhetorically to get out of his car now you cannot write this shit people you cannot write this shit What else do I say about this? Oh, I've got a million of them! Yeah! I don't think it's necessary for me to explain to you the cringe that you've just now been a witness to within that three minute video that I've just now exposed to you. Which, by the way, which, by the way, was also re uploaded by a man named. Matt Tilderton, all one world, Matt Tilderton, the week after Joel G80 initially published this on her YouTube channel. This one got nearly twice as many views as the initial video which just a week before was published. And... That's because of a very incriminating description, which simply says, This Uber driver gets really angry at a passenger who refuses to get out of the car. Exactly! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! My thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly. You cannot make this up. You you can't. How the hell can you? I mean, I think this this dumbass woman wouldn't get out of the fucking guy's car. Can can you explain that? I mean, you got to be a June bug in the middle of Christmas in July not to know that. You know how dumb a person like that has to be to be a June bug in the middle of Christmas in July? Pretty damn stupid. Democratic levels of stupid. By the way, I said earlier in this video about maybe two minutes ago, as of this video, just skip about two minutes backward to the clip in which I said that. But you remember when I said that there should be a law prohibiting these levels of deliberate selective stupidity? Well, I meant every word that I said because it is absolutely 100% the truth. It's so, and, and, and this guy's repost from a week after the video was published gets nearly 27 and a half thousand comments. One of the top ones being from a man who I am obviously going to admire now named Beerus Splits. This, I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl, but I don't know. I mean, I could be right, I could be wrong, 50-50. But this person says, They say she is still in the car. 23 people responded to that. And 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 I'll, I'll tell you what they said. I'll tell you what they said. Tell you what they said, and I'll just... To this very day, say that this man named Piccolo touched the car and the car exploded, causing them both to die. Bulldog Blitz die! Let my ass off! To say that still, that man. I'm not even going there. If you go into the car, you can hear the sound of where is my destination? Don't judge that man 
Yeah, that bitch would probably do something more before she filming this when she when he already angry. Bitch, you in the fucking hospital. You wanted to drive through a fucking emergency room for you? Bitch, please. Ah. Oh, look, satanic reference from Brandon Alejandro Carnejo Flores. I'm waiting for 660 likes to comment. Then he commented. Duh. Pretty simple. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. You cannot even in hell script these levels of stupidity. They are everywhere. Liberalism isn't just a mental disorder. It's selective retardation. Which is exactly what God himself put me into this world to save us all from. Or as many of us as physically fucking possible. I don't know anymore. But I will say this. This lady deserves an Oscar for the most oblivious fucking piece of shit in a short subject film. And the guy who's the Uber driver should get an Academy Award for the best supporting actor in a short subject film. This is Oscar, this is this is award worthy material right here. Honest to God. That's why so many people have been sharing it. Not to mention the fact that the guy named Zach who goes under the YouTube handle Psychic Pebbles posted his own animated shortened version of this, which was missing about a minute or so of the original audio and video. And he includes in his description that... The following audio is 100% real. Yeah, no shit. No shit. Of course it's real. Like 5 million people saw the damn thing, so they know. They know. Okay, what else can I say about this? What in the hell do I say about a video of this level of cringe? Wait, I know! CONSENSUAL PENIS! I don't care, man. Fuck. Bottoms down. By the way, Nickelback is the most overrated rock band in history. Spread the word, people! And now back to the topic. This lady. Oh, by the way, by the way, there is a Reddit article on this very same story, which I'm going to look up right now. Now let's take a look at this. What is the actual story behind Get Out of My Car? Explain this. Okay, so this this user named Izzy Alex Alexanderish came up with this story, which I think sums up this entire review in a nutshell. This lady called an Uber to go to a hospital. According to the driver, she was late to the appointment and made him wait way too long. So she gets to the hospital and drives to admissions and asks her to get out. She says that she wants to go to the emergency room entrance, not admissions. He says all she asked for was for the hospital and that he is at the destination that she has wasted enough of his time and to please get out of his car. Over and over again she refused and the guy gets frustrated and starts 
proceeding to yell at her over and over again. Finally, about two to three minutes of her being a troll and saying stuff like, But sir, I don't know where I am. He threatens to call the police. At this point, someone she knows, a bystander possibly, comes up to the car and tells her that he or she will walk her to the location she needs. The story blew up because of how much the Uber driver freaks out, yelling at her, etc. I think they were both partly in the... No, they weren't in the wrong. Not both of them. The lady was entirely in the wrong for having wasted the man's time. I agree with everything else, however. But it must be frustrating to be an Uber driver and not be able to remove someone from your personal car, especially if they are being an asshole. Edit. Rewatching the video, by the way, this is not a shock to you, so you shouldn't be surprised by this. It looks like she edited it from the point that he started to lose his patience. You can tell that her voice indicates that she is smiling, trying to push his buttons to get a good video, which is a pretty shitty thing to do. Which renders the statement, I think that they were both partly in the wrong, completely useless. As far as everything else that this Redditor said, I completely agree with her. And this was posted a little over six months ago. So you try and explain that to your kids, if you ever choose to have any in this case. I don't even know why the hell I have to explain a story like this to you people, but I do it anyway for the sake of doing it to make sure that you don't end up as dumb as her. And by her, I mean Joel G80. Joel C80, or whatever the hell she's called. Right? Or Jot G80. Because I keep, I keep mistaking the T for the L when I'm reading her name. Well, of course, I didn't read her name the last couple of times, so obviously. But anyway, it's pretty much going to do it. I don't know how else to say it. So I'm just going to shut the fuck up. So, till next time. It is time once again! Until next time, I'll see you in cyberspace. This episode of Scully Goes Wide is brought to you by Uber, where if you allow them to pester you long enough, you can become one of their drivers and deal with shitheads like the woman whose video I just reviewed in this episode. And it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the No Child Left Behind Act, not that it means anything, and suckers like you! So do us all a favor, and if you don't like my content, Go watch PewDiePie and fuck off to him. Later!